This book is called Voices in the Park by Anthony Brown. Voices in the Park. The first voice. It was time to take Victoria, our pedigree Labrador, and Charles, our son, for a walk. When we arrived at the park, I let Victoria off her lead. Immediately, some scruffy mongrel appeared and started bothering her. I shooed it off, but the horrible thing chased her all over the park. I ordered it to go away, but it took no notice of me whatsoever. Sit, I said to Charles, here. I was just planning what we should have to eat that evening when I saw Charles had disappeared. Oh dear, where had he gone? You get some frightful types in the park these days. I called his name for what seemed like an age. Then I saw him talking to some very rough looking child. Charles, come here at once, I said, and come here please, Victoria. We walked home in silence. The second voice. I needed to get out of the house, so me and Smudge took the dog to the park. He loves it there. Oh, I wish I had half the energy he's got. I settled on a bench and looked through the paper for a job. I know it's a waste of time, really, but you've got to have a bit of hope, haven't you? Then it was time to go. Smudge cheered me up. She chatted happily to me all the way home. The third voice. I was at home on my own again. It's so boring. Then Mummy said that it was time for our walk. There was a very friendly dog in the park and Victoria was having a great time. I wished I was. Do you want to come on the slide? A voice asked. It was a girl, unfortunately, but I went anyway. She was brilliant on the slide. She went really fast. I was amazed. The two dogs raced around like old friends. The girl took off her coat and swung on the climbing frame, so I did the same. I'm good at climbing trees, so I showed her how to do it. She told me her name was Smudge, a funny name I know, but she's quite nice. Then Mummy caught us talking together and I had to go home. Maybe Smudge will be there next time. The fourth voice. Dad had been really fed up, so I was pleased when he said that we could walk Albert in the park. Albert's always in such a hurry to be let off his lead. He went straight up to this lovely dog and sniffed its bum. He always does that. Of course, the other dog didn't mind, but its owner was really angry. A silly twit. I got talking to this boy. Thought he was a bit of a wimp at first, but he's okay. We played on the seesaw and he didn't say much, but later on he was a bit more friendly. We both burst out laughing when we saw Albert having a swim. <laughs> Then we all played on the bandstand and I felt really, really happy. Charlie picked a flower and gave it to me. Then his mum called him and he had to go. He looked sad.
when I got home, I put the flour in some water and made Dad a nice cup of tea. And that's the end of the story.